Hey, what is going on, family? How y'all doing, man? It's your boy Tell, and we are back with another episode of Television Joe. We got some new film we're gonna be testing out today, man. It's gonna be exciting. Today, we're gonna be testing some new film. I've never tried this film before. I think it's based in Germany. Um, it's called Kono Delight Art 100. It's like this bluish tenant of film stock. It's a C41 process with this film, meaning that it's colored negative, and we got an ISO of 100. So, with this, film in particular I wanted to take this into this studio called U Studio that I really like and I just kind of had this vision of like this sort of light leaking vibe honestly it turned out more different than I thought it was because I had to do a lot of actual color manipulation in the end but I would love to try this film more so outdoors rather than more so studio just because with the ISO being at a hundred it's a little bit more restricted so i have to use more artificial lighting or i would just have to have a beautiful studio with a big ass window for natural light and this is black like it gives like this bluish and purplish vibe on different looks it was definitely a different film stock and really something that's not my usual um and yo this shit was like twenty dollars like Mind you, I've never, the most I've spent on film for one roll of film was damn near like 18, 19. And it was for some E100, it was for some Ektachrome. And I like Ektachrome, cause, and then like it's hand rolled, so it's different. But um, with this joint, this shit was like 20, I think it was like $19 US. Like on here, on their website, it's 23 pounds. Um, so... Y'all could do the math, shit, I don't know that. But everything worked out pretty smooth. I was looking at some reviews. Some people were saying kind of like it's like a manipulated Ektar 100, which I could kind of get that vibe. I could see that. I think it was wrapped up in Ektar 100, if I'm not mistaken, when I had unraveled it. Because when I did do uh, this video, I thought I recorded me um, loading the film, but I just showed y'all the film box. Um, I got this dope model who kind of maneuvered around the place a good bit. Her name is Sinea. I've been conversing with her for about about two years now. Like, she found me on the ground doing some content and hit me up. But turns out, Shorty was like in New Hampshire or some shit. So, you know, I want going up there. Ain't nothing. I don't know what's in New Hampshire. If, if any of y'all from New Hampshire, let me know what the hell out there, because I don't. She ended up coming down here because the opportunity in Atlanta. And I was like, yeah, you know, that's dope. And that's smart, too. So, and she has a dope look. So she could definitely excel in the market down here. So literally, this was literally that same week when I messed up all those rolls of film. <laughs> and y'all can peep the video up here. So she was one of the shoots that I did that next week after I was kind of frustrated and everything. And I was like, okay, we're going we're gonna to have to put our foot back on the pedal. You feel me? So ended up shooting her and that was pretty dope. So ended up going to U Studio. It's this dope vibe. It's like this rustic... Um, industrial feel in the studio so they got like three uh, windows that's pretty nice size and it's good for natural light and i was like this could be dope so initially i put her by one of those windows and i had got my emiron 100 so i usually been using more continuous lighting on my shoots um if i was to do anything in studio rather than using a strobe and so we had this big white wall that was movable around the studio so what I ended up doing was I ended up grabbing the Emeron 100, pointing it right at the wall so it can black on the hair so it can be more so soft and harsh. And I'll have her right beside the window so she can still get a little shadow, but also at the same time, she'll be able to still get them highlights. Cause I got my mist filter on there so it can still get that dreamy look. So I really want them highlights to be a little exaggerated at the same time. Here are some of the test shots that are on my digital. I do believe it was a little underexposed, like a little dark. So I compensated for that when I shot it on my Mamiya. And then in post-production, if I needed to bring some highlights out to, you know, lighten it up a little bit, I did so. One of my favorite shots was right here when she was actually right against the window and shooting towards the window. I already knew this was going to give a good vibe just because with her being blown out from the back. Oh my God, that sounded so, oh my God. With the light hitting her from the backside, it makes her look more like dreamy, glowy, and like this heavenly vibe. So 
uh, with the Mills filter, I know it's just gonna make that even more exaggerated. So this is actually one of my favorite shots right here. So we ended up actually getting a mirror. I've done a similar concept to this about, I would say two years ago. And it was just more so focusing on the mirror reflection. Lighting was gonna play a factor and just the effect that I was going for it. So I noticed on this shot in particular though, it was mad purplish. So this was the film version and I'm gonna show y'all the edited version. So we got two different looks and I don't dislike the unedited version. I actually do like it, but I wanted to kind of flow with the other photos cause the color was so off. So I had to compensate with that in post-production. And then after this, we ended up getting another shot in this outfit and I saw like this light leak on the floor. So we had her on the floor and I had to lightly kind of go across her eyes to give this mud, like this dramatic feel. I didn't use artificial light on this one. I just used straight sunlight. And I feel like that added more dramaticism to it because I didn't add an extra light. So within the next look, I was trying to figure out what I really wanted to do. And then I noticed too, they had a whole studio set up there as well so i'm like okay so you can get two different vibes so i ended up grabbing the chair and putting it in the middle so i started off with some portraits and i wanted to get some nice uh tights with her and then I wanted to eventually switch it up and get something more dynamic with her. After placing her on a chair, a different amount of positions, I ended up finding another chair. So I was like, okay, this is getting old. So let's find something different and I want to change the angle of this lighting. So this is one of my favorite shots on the set in total. I just really like how relaxed she looked. Um, I actually told her to take a breath before this, um, which is very helpful when you're shooting certain clients who are nervous or they seem too tense and etc. So, so I had to take a deep breath, then release, and that was the vibe that I got. Another one of my favorite shots on here was the double exposure. So I wanted to get some sort of emotion on one shot. Honestly, I think the double exposure could have been better um especially for the portrait setting like i just think it could have been a more appealing look but it looks too i feel like it looks too staged is what i'm saying but it came out pretty dope like i do like how it looks um i just wish i would, it would execute it better but it's definitely what i was looking for for the double exposure effect like it looks clean it just could be performed better with that being said, man, I appreciate y'all for tuning in for today's video, man. Like I said, this film stock, it was pretty dope, man. Never used this before. I would definitely use it again, but just more so on like outdoor settings or um, I would use it probably more so uh, for some lifestyle vibes, honestly. Um, I don't really see me using this something professionally unless I'm going for like a tenant look. Um, but I would definitely use this again in the future for sure, for sure. If y'all enjoyed this video, man, make sure y'all drop a comment below. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other film stocks I should try. Something wild, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of stuff that I'm kind of fresh and new to. So definitely drop some below. Let me know what was some of y'all favorite photos from the video, man. And without further ado, man, I appreciate y'all. We out of here. Keep shooting.